Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to our channel, The Growing Developer. And this video, we're going to learn about provider dot off and multi providers. In the last video, we learned about how we can actually pass the providers uh, some objects using providers, but we only passed one object. How we can pass different objects? Like we'll learn about this, and this is the product that we're going to build. See, this thirty is coming from my user something like, like this my data i created a class my data in id 30 and i can get this id 30 here and if i display you you can see that i'm using a provider dot off so one thing the next thing is this container user has signed down or signed it i have created another model which is extending of course change notifier and on press of this change status it is changing from is signed in like true to false so if i click on sign in it shows that user has signed in. If I click on sign out, it shows that user has signed out. And alternatively, my cart work is also working fine. So I have three models. Using those three models, I can pass it anywhere in the widget tree. So let's see how we can do it using multi providers and how I used provider.off and what it does. So let's begin. The growing developer. Okay, so let's start with the coding part. So uh, what we already have as it as we already discussed is that when we add to cart this number gets updated and if I click on this product actually I go to a new page which is this cart page which is having just a text and a flat button which says delete one element and when I press on this flat button it just removes the item from the cart. Now what this is doing is that when I delete one element the changes are reflected here and if we go back if you press back the changes are reflected here as well so this is something that i discussed in the last video if you want to watch the last video then the link is in the info section here okay so i'll just attach the link don't worry it will be in the description as well so go and watch the first part and then now this is a smaller part where we will just learn about provided dot off and what are multi providers as of how we can pass multiple providers right <clears throat> So here let's start. So what we're gonna do is if I go to my home page, I have this thing. Let me just zoom this in. Yes. So this is like my consumers, and just uh, watch the first part to know about more consumers and all the stuff. And what I want is that after this, after this container, I'll just put a container, yet another container, and with the height as maybe 100 pixels or let's 150 pixels right sorry it's not 150 pixels yes like this okay so after this uh, i want to have some kind of color let me just give it a color of maybe uh indigo colors dot dot indigo okay so as a child what i will do as a child i want that i should have some sort of user signing in and signing out right so how to actually do that so as a child i'll say user has signed in okay so let's save this and you will have the much container let's just decrease the height to 100 only okay 150 is too much and as a style to it i will just give it a text style and just make the color as white that's it text style and color as white okay that's it so it says user has signed in i can increase the size as well okay so the user has actually signed in to our uh, application so what i want is that i want to take care of a button that is i will just make a button inside this let me just wrap this text with a column now okay so after that we'll have another flat button which will say 
sign in okay and uh, I'll not give it any color so this is sign in and on press of it just an empty function okay okay so what I want is that whenever I press the sign in button uh, the user should sign in it should display that user has signed in and this should change to uh, sign out okay and when I press on this uh, like if it is sign out then you should user should sign out now what our problem is that I am already using a cart provider right if I go to my main dot dot uh, you can see that I am using a chain notifier provider my cart and it is creating now I have just passed only one uh, provider to us right so how to provide multiple providers right that's the thing so what I'm gonna do I'll just remove this okay let's just remove this uh, chain notify from here remove this widget and now I'm gonna wrap it with another widget which is multi provider okay uh, that's in the provider package only so it takes up a providers list so providers takes up a list and in this I can give as many models I can I want okay so first thing would be change notify pro, uh, provider okay we used it and on create method what I'm gonna do I'll just create my cart that's it I created an object I'll just type cast it to my cart simple now let's restart this application and see if everything is working fine or not right so I'll just click on restart it is performing hot restart and it restarted uh, you can see that the value should update it is back to zero it is working fine if I go to new page it's still working fine so it is working right the next thing is to toggle this so I need to create another model for that okay so I'll create a new dot file name it as my user dot dot okay inside this if I add it okay so what I need to do is I'll quickly import material package why do I need material package because to call notify listeners right so class my user extends in this as well I need to call the change notifier provider why because I need to keep track of the changes that is happening into our application okay so change notifier so you can see that this change notifier is a class that is inside this material dot dot package not inside provider okay provider is just doing the work of providing us the value so I'll just create a value a boolean value which is is signed in equals to false as a default value okay so initially it will be false so after that I'll just create a method which is change status okay which will do nothing but just change the status from is signed in like false to true and true to false vice versa so it should be like is signed in equals to not is signed in that's one way to just toggle between false and true so if it is true it will just change to false if it is false it will just change to true right and now important part I need to call the notify listener so that our UI can be updated done now let's move on to our home page dot dot and here with this column I will just wrap this container actually okay so I'll wrap this container with a widget known as consumer exactly okay so consumer and it should be my user yes and I'll just remove this child add a builder method which takes up the context then the model and then and text model and then the child parameter I just return it okay so now consumer my use uh, my user builder getting it right now on press of it what I want to do is on press of it I'll just call model dot uh, our listener change status okay so what is happening whenever I'll click on this button it should change the status from 
false to true and true to false vice versa right so one thing now based on the status based on the status i should also change the text here okay so it should be model dot is signed in if the user is signed in i should display user has signed in otherwise i should display user has signed out simple now here as well the same logic goes model dot is signed in it should display sign in otherwise it should just display simply sign out okay makes sense let's say this and see if it is working or not so what is this could not find the correct provider oh yes we have not yet provided any provider right i have to uh, write another provider here so it should be change notify a provider with a type as my user that's a pretty silly mistake right and then on create of it i'll just create my object which is my user like this okay let's save this and now user is signed on why because initially my is signed in property is actually false let's click on sign out oh so i need to toggle the button because see it is it should display sign out here so if it is signed in then it should display sign out okay and it should display sign in save it and yes so it is displaying sign out when i sign out it shows user has signed out and now i have the sign in button so multi provider is working this is also working at the same time so i am able to provide different providers to it now the thing is uh, provider dot off suppose i want to only get some value okay i just want to get some value from it how to do that stuff so what i want to do i will just remove this consumer from here okay uh, or rather let's do something uh, i'll create another model i'll create a new dot file and name it as some value dot dot okay that so what will happen here import material package again and class my data i'll just name it as my data and let's create a variable int id equals to zero simple that's it nothing else now i've just created a int id as zero or for your reference let's just give it a 30 okay now what i want is i will just create a provider of it not a change notifier provider let's see how we can do it i'll just write provider okay on create of it i'll just create the object uh, my data fine makes sense now i have a provider which is not a change notifier provider that is suppose for some calculation some uh, work i just need to fetch this id yes you could have easily created let me just show this yes you should you would have easily created the id as a static variable but for just uh, sake of simplicity i'm just showing you how we can access the values using provider okay so in my homepage dot dart what i'm gonna do i'll create a variable inside this build method where id equals to provider dot of context and here you will just write the type of it so it is my data okay dot id simple as that now you can access the value of it at any place at any widget okay one thing that you need to make sure is that this will not be inside your widget tree okay this provider will not be inside your widget tree so you have to write listen as false okay this is very important when you are accessing the provider data using this okay so see consumers automatically takes care of that right so now instead of uh, this length here instead of this length here i will just write id dot to string 
now this consumer is totally out of scope because I'm not using this my cart object okay this is definitely coming from this let's save this and if I save this you will see that 30 is being printed here now 30 is being printed here so I can access the value of this my data class without making a, an object of it okay so suppose at any place the ID has changed so there will be a change in the ID if we are listening to it so that's all about this provider tutorial actually we have learned about multi providers and provider dot off and uh, I think these are the only concepts that we require to learn for the provider next thing I'm looking for some UI videos one or two UI videos and then we'll move on to a get X get X is a module is a framework that I'm very excited about in the flutter okay just makes the work so easy and yes so we'll go into the getx after some uh, ui videos one or two ui videos and if you want me to cover any sort of ui so you can also send me the ui through uh, any of the social platforms you can mail me that all the links in, will be in the description for the mail you can just go to the about section of this channel and just mail me there okay and uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you like this video. Hope you enjoy this video. Learn something from this video. And yes, I'll be I'll try to be a regular, right? So thank you so much. Hope you're having a nice day. Goodbye.